Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. Please don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Hi! I am Castor Verdazo Balakwit Jr., your physical education instructor from the College of Teacher Education of Surigodo Sur State University. Today, we shall recall the origin and discuss the historical timeline of physical education. Physical education in the Philippines dates back to primitive society. Physical activity was very important for survival where physical activities were mainly to search food and defend themselves from harm and danger. Since this is the essential way they can sustain their daily living, every member of the family should know the life basic skills which bound to its physical activities. In the ever-changing times, it is evident on how physical education affects the lives of the Filipino. The development of physical activity in the school curriculum. On September 11, 1724 up to July 25 to 1790, Johann Bernhard Bastow, a German reformer who was one of the first to see the benefits of physical activity and introduced it in the school curriculum. He also began the modernization of gymnastics. On August 9, 1759, Johann Christoph Friedrich or Gutsmuth is a German who introduced physical systematic exercises in school and developed the principles for gymnastics. He also published the first systematic book for gymnastics. On January 1, 1810, Friedrich Ludwig Jahn is also a German philosopher who is considered as the father of modern gymnastics because he introduced many of the different gymnastic activities and incorporated in the school curriculum. In 1811, the promotion of gymnastics in schools began at Jahn's school in Berlin, led to gymnastic clubs developing in Europe. In 1825, Charles Beck was the first official physical education teacher in America and taught German gymnastics. In 1849, Dr. Dudley Allen Sargent started a gymnastic club in high school. In 1878, he instructed gymnastics at Yale College. In 1885, American Physical Education Association founded to support gymnastics in education. What about the physical education in Europe? In 1795 up to 1824, Dr. Thomas Arnold conducted a social control through games and prevent bullying. In 1814 AD, Denmark's bill of 1841 was the first ever mandatory bill supporting physical education in the curriculum. On April 29, 1820, physical education was spread throughout Europe where gymnasiums are built throughout the countries in Europe. On October 7, 1849, Martina Sofia Helena a Swedish physical education instructor was found as the physical education instructor's college in England, only allowed for women. In 1902, schools were required to have teachers who were trained properly in the Army Gymnastics course, the model course in which physical education was reformed to military drill because in 1899, when volunteers for the Army signed up, Less than half of them were fit enough. Physical Education in America In 1820, Round Hill School was the first school to have a physical education curriculum which geared towards males. In 1823 AD, Catherine Beecher started an early form of aerobics. In 1825 up to 1826, Charles Follen opened the first college gym at Harvard and the first public gym in Boston. In 1861 AD, the Normal Institute of Physical Education can be found in Boston. 
On November 27, 1885, William Anderson held a meeting for those who were interested in becoming a professional physical educator and formed the Association for the Advancement of Physical Education. In 1917, Committee on Women's Athletic was created by the American Physical Education Association. On July 29, 1950, physical education gains recognition in United States colleges where most of the United States universities had majors in physical education. On November 2, 1972, Title IX banned sexual discrimination in schools for athletics and academics. The universal changes in physical education started in November 15, 1776 up to May 3, 1839. Per Henrik Ling was a pioneer in the teaching of physical education. He taught fencing at Lund University in 1805. He is also experienced the benefits of physical activity and then worked to promote exercising. On January 1, 1820, the schools were focusing on physical education which is the first modern physical education movement centered on physical fitness. In 1896, first modern Olympics were conducted in Athens and inspired many young people to exercise. In 1919, to 1933, physical education included the teaching of loyalty, rules, teamwork, and competition which is the application of teamwork. In 1952 up to 1972, there are changes in physical education where exercise is gender specific and the emphasis on free movement rather than discipline is placed. Swimming and dance are placed on the syllabus for physical education during this time. Physical education also in elementary schools are changed to more freedom and exploration from discipline. On January 1, 1975, Public Law 94-142 guaranteed that all youth with disabilities shall get education to the fullest degree. In this, Physical education is included and began many new funding for the physical education curriculum for handicapped youth. On January 1, 1983, May Month was named for the Month of National Physical Fitness and Sports Month. During this month, many schools highlighted the importance of physical activity and physical education. On January 1, 1989, Park program was organized. This is a research-based and public health organization that promotes lifelong wellness. It aims to educate the kids in school at an early age to set a pattern that they will carry into ad adulthood and will forever maintain a healthy life. On January 1, 2001, No Child Left Behind was created. This act was devastating for the world of physical education because this bill cut leisure time and many of the physical education programs within schools. On January 1, 2004, Child Nutrition and WIEC Reauthorization Act was mandated that any school whose meal program was federally funded to have a health and physical education program in its curriculum this is to provide children with increased access to food and nutrition assistance to simplify program operations and improve operation management to reauthorize child nutrition programs and for other purposes. January 1, 2010 This time, the program Healthy People 2010 was created that sets standards and goals for over a 10-year period. So it is being updated every 10 years where the goals will be updated and revised including the year 2020. This program served as a great channel that allows us to view where we are as a nation and where we need to strive to be. January 1, 2011, the reports were released that we as a country have more overweight than we have ever been before. Physical education in the Philippines was seen to have a significant decline.
Having taken a backseat when it comes to national priority, as well as being severely affected by the onset of a rapidly changing youth culture immersed in mobile technology and social media. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell to be updated on the latest topics related to physical education. Hit the like button, give comments, and share for awareness and widest information dissemination. Thank you so much and see you with my next videos. Bye!